Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are, how are you? How are you? You caught me in my bedroom. I'm cleaning up and putting some laundry away while I was listening to you guys. Yeah, uh, so tell, tell everybody because we're getting to know you. Tell them your name and your company and your birthday. Hi. Hi everyone, my name is Amani. My birthday is April 18, 1990. And um, uh, we're the founders of Survival Moss. Which we love. Uh, which is a, yeah, we love you guys. Um, it's just a, was a passion project that birthed from my illness with MS. And it was just wanting to navigate uh, through holistic ways naturally. And we came across Irish Sea Moss and we just want to share that with the world. So that was that's a bit of our story yeah and mm -hmm. uh things are really changing i can actually see a change in you since the last time we talked yeah <laughs> yeah i feel different I, I feel different that's and that's literally what i mean outside of the maneuvers and stuff but that's silica makes such a difference i got my i got my shirt on too i <laughs> got my shirt and i'm so excited i've been um doing the fascia myself like every day uh and when i don't do it i feel a little bit off um so it's become part of my like weekly routine i'm going to a quiz class on sunday i think Yay. um yeah, yeah so exciting yeah that, that is pretty cool so um uh what have you noticed that out of curiosity since you've been taking cmos a lot of people are doing that what have you noticed since you started adding in diatomaceous earth um so obviously like the hair skin um nails all that benefits but just also um because i i i had M I have ms i like to say it's a past thing i don't have it anymore yeah. but um i get an inflammation from time to time and so if i feel a little tired or i just it just helps me um just get those minerals in. it kind of gives me a little boost again uh the next day and so it's something that i like to implement and when i don't take it i i feel a little off it makes a big difference it does and I, you know what because you can notice it in your hair your hair noticeably looks different and your skin tone looks yeah different. it's getting thicker like, like i just got out of the shower so my hair usually just gets flat after a shower but still feels yeah it feels nice nicer i like it <laughs> everyone get on the get on the uh silica you know the dietitian just herbs and sea moss it totally um is noticeable you notice the impacts within within weeks so yeah yeah it's really really cool and and again i love what you guys do with the freeze dried i mean that's the best part about it is that it's easy to transport and carry mm -hmm. just because i i i i prefer to take survival moss and i do to take fascial flow cool. um i prefer to to ingest it that way i mean i do i do that both depending on my circumstances but but I still prefer always to take it uh, in its natural form. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to just implement into your into your everyday food, um, and it gets easier as you as you start to get more creative with it. With us, um, we the the we we do the gels for for locals. Um, the sea moss freeze dry just allows us to kind of share what we've learned with the rest of the world because we don't add any uh, preservatives or any additives, artificial things to our um, products and so the only preservation technique that we use is the freeze drying which allows us to do it without adding no additives so um that's that's something that we really uh love about uh survival moss because it was it was hard to find things locally um or even just online getting it, gels sent to us it, it's a it's a dog's breakfast it, it is it's hard it's like uh it's like trying to get meta uh, medicinal mushrooms that's why jordan's doing the the mushrooms because it's like you just can't get this stuff regularly and if you want to make it a part of your life that's why mm -hmm. i liked about it because the ability to 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 be able to take it and have it with me wherever i am it makes yeah. a big difference I, I carry it in my backpack when i travel awesome awesome so happy to hear and it um it, this that that was just like really amazing for us to be able to bring it to people and not feel like under a time crunch for for in the fridge or freezing it and a lot of people don't like to have to worry about that and so the freeze dry was really great for that um so thank you thank you for uh helping us share this with the world and just kind of allowing people to have access to it because cmos was really hard for me when i was going through my issues uh, and i had to try and recreate the wheel on my own and so uh yeah necessity is the mother of all inventions that's how it works exactly
Exactly. And I wanted to also, I've been just thinking more and more about our conversations. And I always, like, something comes up for me every time. And I feel like I get to dive deeper into my my healing, my personal healing, whether it's through with fascia or really just diving deeper into like the remineralization of our body and movement uh, or just manifestation. I remember we were talking about manifesting a different life in these. Um, yes, and I do want to add, you guys, if you go on survivalmoss.com, please use the garage, human garage code, discount code for some savings. Um, and yeah, so, sorry, I just saw yeah. some, some comments. Uh, yeah. So the, uh, you're, you're coming through a transit right now and, and just like, uh, Alexandra that I was talking to earlier, you are coming through a transit right now. You're going to have a big shift on Monday, like a big shift, like, a like, a oh my God, where, what, what was this world around me? Like, where did I wake up? That's what it's going to be like Monday or Tuesday. Um, I've been, I've been feeling it for a while because I'm trans, I, I'm a teacher by, by education, by trade. I used to teach French immersion, uh, primary level, and that was my passion. Um, and I still feel like I'm, I'm doing teaching, but in a different, different form. My, I'm, I'm finding my passion in different things right now. And I'm inspired and wanting to inspire others in the ways that I got impacted, which is huge with with health right now like you say yeah yeah it's, um, it's you're just finding you're finding your purpose and uh it took a it took a little bit of dis-ease not feeling comfortable in your body to do that that's okay that's, yeah. that's all the story of the past right? and it's scary at first and i i wanted i would like to touch on this um like my i grew up with my aunt she was diagnosed with ms so i was maybe in elementary end of high, elementary school high school when i was first uh introduced to the illness and i would see her navigate through the illness and for me it brought such fear it it created such a fear in me that i still feel it to this day and um i feel like i almost manifested it you, i manifested you did you did manifest it. it you, you yeah. did yeah like like people talk about emotional dysregulation of genes like it's genetics, then there's epigenetics. It's the, the environmental uh, expression mm -hmm. of the gene through the environmental mm -hmm. issues. Well, what's the strongest environmental issues? The emotions that I carry. And, I, and I'm around people and I see stuff. I, if I fear, this universe is perfect. Whatever I put the most energy towards comes at me. Mm -hmm. So I get the lesson. So you were, you were just born to go through the journey. That's a yeah. three year old story though. Yeah, and I just kind of of like i was wanting to hack that like i saw my aunt go through the conventional route i saw her slowly um like just her 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 health was just not you, doing you, very well and still you to listen to your story yeah I, I saw it i watched it i was afraid of it yeah. i wanted to find a hack for it well that's yeah that's it you created it so yeah. you're here and this is what this is the beauty about what you're doing you are finding you are the hack yeah, it, it is it is so cool to think of it in that way. And I it just it's been taking me time to be like diving deeper and where did this stem? How did I learn about this? Why did that really impact me? And then trying to find a way like I'm not gonna let it take me down the same way I'm I saw. I'm going to overcome it differently. I'm gonna redefine this for me. And um that that is just kind of the wave I'm I'm riding right now and it's been amazing. It's the Aries. Charge! Mm -hmm right Just i got like... a sword <laughs> well, yeah thank, thank you for all that you do we do appreciate uh doing business with you guys and helping out and sharing your mission and it's been quite the journey and uh Ikwe was in there saying see you on uh see you on sunday so yeah so excited and so looking forward to meeting anyone from vancouver who will be coming out to the to the class um and yeah so looking forward to to future i, I got a feeling um, you're bringing samples yeah, uh, definitely. I I love giving, so I'll be coming with lots. Okay, see ya. Everyone, Thanks. take yeah, care. Bye. 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 Thank you.